All right, well, we can keep moving on with our assault. We're slowly moving our way back in. I don't know what the Cardassians are doing. I, I They clearly tried to take back their homeworld, but it looks like they got forced back out. So very interesting things happening down there, but we're going to keep going in with our pincer movement. Bullock is going to come in and take the Argus Ray so we can hopefully get a better view of what's Orders going received. on. Cardassians. Cardassians, yes, who else could it be? Big blow because we had to auto resolve it, obviously. We've destroyed the target. Promotion gained. But it was enough for him to get a promotion. So good job, Bullock. Proud of you. All right, we can finally see the whole. So the Cardassians didn't lose their homeworld, and if they did, they clearly were able to take it back in time before we lifted fog of war. Dominion have spread out pretty far, but it looks like the Breen are on their way. Looks like the Dominion didn't really recover. Uh, from what must have stretched their territory into here, down to the Altair system. Looks like the Breen, ever since I was able to push the Dominion back by taking out their fleet here, have taken back some of their own space, but I can't imagine they're too strong. At least not in a position that I would be worried about. So I'm going to go ahead and put another oh, Galaxy-class ship in and move on to the Breen, and you know, with Aaron's movement speed, he's gonna be able to, one, two, three, four, five, six. I might even be able to move all the way into Bajor. But that's something we're gonna have to see in a second. Not right now, though. The Argus Ray could build mining. Gonna keep up with our science facilities. It is very important that we keep those up to date. Uh, you know what, I am going to go ahead and build a big space station here, just so Star I can recover some of the damage dealt by that auto sim. Constructed. Just so I have at least one fully equipped ship in the fleet that can hold on. Savar is still holding Earth just fine. But Aaron, orders. it's time to begin your true conquest, much like Dukat, who swept through the Dominion and Breen systems all the way to conquer as many ship uh, places as he could. Fleet Admiral Aaron for the Federation is now going to be doing a similar maneuver, hopefully with the same amount of success. Orders acknowledged. Breen. And the Breen, it looks like, yeah, they've been spending so much time fighting with the Dominion. They haven't really had a chance to build themselves up. So it looks like the fact that we weren't able to expand early on is paying off now because everybody's been too busy fighting with each other, too busy damaging each other, not giving you know, not given enough time Full power to, to truly survive or flourish. That's going to help us out here a little bit. Enemy and there goes the Breen. Their home world will now soon be mine. A massive fleet just coming in, playing the ultimate long con of letting everybody else get too busy with fighting while we slowly, slowly upgraded ourselves and slowly built the Admiral's fleet from quite a meager cobbled together thing to this truly imposing force that I think can take on any fleet out there, even a full fleet of dreadnoughts from an enemy. I think we'd have an easy enough time taking on. I'd be concerned about it, obviously, but I still think we would survive. Which is good. It's always good that we were able to bounce back. I really didn't know if we would survive, especially if the AI had been a little bit more aggressive. If the Dominion had moved into Sol at any point, you know, I'm not sure we would have made it. I think the only things holding them back were the fact that it's our capital system, so, you know, it's got the most turrets and the most heavily developed starbase. But the fact that we were able to hold on as long as we were due in large part to Saval. If his name's Savar, I'm going to hate myself in the next several minutes. But due in large part to Saval's efforts, we were able to hold off so much. We were able to probably even weaken the Cardassians to the point that put them in this position with the Dominion because he was able to take down so much of Dukat's fleet. I mean, I really didn't think he was going to do much with Enemy that fight, but he destroyed. really turned it around before he finally had to flee the system. 
and he did so much holding the Klingons off. If he wasn't able to hold the Klingons off as long as he did and give us those extra chances, you know, I really don't think we would have been able to make it this long. You know, we all, we owe our survival and our success to Fleet Admiral Aaron's war plan of going after the Klingons first and then circling back around. We've the We've achieved our objective. Thank you. But without Admiral Savar, I knew I, I knew I was wrong. Without Admiral Savar's risky, risky sacrifices to hold them off in these systems, it would have been a much different story. All right, so let's sweep down here because the brain are pretty much crippled. So if I take their fleet out, it's not going to be as bad. But I do want to take a little bit of power from the Dominion. Awaiting orders. orders received. In the meantime, and wipe out whatever they've got here, which is a mining facility of course it is so we want to knock on some of their infrastructure break down how much money they can have because they're they've got a lot even if i wipe out all three fleets right now if i don't get to their homeworld soon i mean it's not gonna matter much Full power to so let's go ahead and mop up some territory and then we'll rejoin once we engage the last of the brain fleet and we engage the last of the brain above ferenginar Really not the battle line I suppose the Breen would have drawn for themselves. Definitely not the final resting place I would want for my fleet, but this is all they have left. This is all they have left. They've probably been getting smoked by the Dominion as well, so... Yeah, not much doing for them. Not much doing for them, unfortunately. We're probably just going to wipe the floor with this fleet and then head out on our merry way as we go into Dominion space and slowly take down the Cardassians as well. Because, honestly, Admiral Aaron is probably going to be the one to go into Dominion space just because he can move so far and so fast. This is for it's probably going to be up to Bullock to take down the Cardassians himself. Maybe with some help sure. from Savar. You know, if, if, if everything gets settled enough and I'm able to protect Earth, It'll probably be down to Savar and Bullock to take it out. Of course, by taking Bajor, we are putting ourselves right in the middle of Dominion Line, so it's very likely that they're going to come through and attack us when they get the chance. Full power to weapons. But, like I said before, I have faith in this fleet. I think it could hold on. I, I wouldn't have any doubts about this fleet being able to hold its own, even against a fully dreadnoughted fleet. I think this one could hold on. And here it is, the fall of Deep Space Nine, at least under Dominion rule. Now the Federation will claim this territory and strike a defining line in the sand, honestly, among these battle lines. I mean, I'm not sure how the Dominion are going to respond to having their, basically all of their supply lines blown in half by this bold, bold move. We've destroyed the target. You know, were I a braver man, I would probably go down here, take out that fleet <laughs> on the next turn and just call it good. But I'm not gonna do that. I think that would be a pretty wasted effort, honestly. In fact, I'm not even going to build a new thing here. We're just going to go ahead, get our mining, mining colony, colony make sure we have everything we need. Of course, this is Frangie space, so we're going to build mining a mining colony, colony there. And we're going to call it good until the next turn. For the founder. Interesting fleet movements. Looks like they're... They've got a Genesis device. Mmm. Thankfully. Ships and structures <laughs> feels horrible to say it. Thankfully, they used it on Cardassia and not us. Ooh. That is dangerous. Upgrade available. That is extremely concerning. All right, well, let's start the deconstruction of the Cardassian Union. What's left of it? I feel really bad for the Cardassians in this run, man. They had such promise, and it's just blown up in their faces. Orders received. Savar is taking his revenge, going after Damar. 
who has a pretty well-stocked fleet, but I mean, against this many Dreadnoughts, it's worth nothing, even with the super battle station he's got. Savar is now going on the offensive. Taking back the last system he was able to fight in. Let's see how he does. He is a defending admiral, so he's not going to be as good on the attack. But I think he'll do fine. Oh, that took far too long. Defensive admirals really do not have that much power when it comes to actually attacking Mission anybody. Promotion gained. You know what, Savar? You you deserve it. God, that took God, at least five or ten minutes just to take everybody down from that sector. It was a real slog. I mean, at least Bullock's going to have a little bit of a better time coming through, especially with a stronger fleet. We'll just slowly wean down what's left of the Cardassians. Here's Dukat. So, the one guy who sent us running one time is going to get his own commitments right now. And Bullock is getting his true test now. Terrell really wasn't much of a threat to him. Terrell obviously played a much different game than he did last time. The Federation does not fall this time. Those dreadnoughts do not make a single impact. So, a bit damaged, but overall still alive. We're just going to go after what little infrastructure the Cardassians have here and slowly continue moving in. I'm going to guess that last fleet will probably also be my problem. I doubt that they try and run back to the Dominion. I feel like the Cardassians are probably going to want to take their chances with me. But we'll see. They could take a suicidal run back to the Dominion trying to reclaim their homeworld. But I don't know if the AI is going to view it that way, considering the AI is the one that Enemy lost the homeworld eliminated. to begin with just by moving its ships around. They didn't even bother throwing in a sacrificial fleet to try and defend the homeworld. Enemy turret destroyed. Just kind of lost itself. Bullock once again Mission finally proving himself to be a worthy commander. Not much for this last one to go to, though. I guess that's Terrell. Damar and Terrell are... Damar and uh, Dukat are down. That's got to be Terrell, the only guy left. Yeah, I'd hate to be him right now. He's got nowhere to run. Both fleets on both sides of him in much better positions than he is. And as far as it goes for Aaron, we could move him out, but I'm going to make a controversial play and wait. I'm going to end the turn here and see what the AI decides to do, and that'll tell me what I need to do. So controversial turn begins now. For Cardassia. He is going to... Terrell not only... For the founders. Wow, the comeback... A risky play. Terrell made another gamble here. This time, at least, it looks like it's paying off. Wow, that is just darn right impressive. 